All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together to welcome Star Master Park Juyong from Atomy Korea. Hello. Hello, everybody. Can you see me? Yes. Good, good, good. Hello, everybody. My name is Ju Young Park, and I am here at the Dream Hall in Atomy, Korea. I wish I was there with you in Singapore. Uh, maybe next time I'll be able to fly over there and join you all with this learning conference. Um, I think that we have had an amazing time so far, right? I think everybody's full. I think everybody has been able to digest not just your food, right? But all the knowledge from Adam. And I'm very excited to share with you now a little bit more about the Atomy journey and Atomy in every household, right? Atomy every day. So what does Atomy look like to you? And I want to share with you what Atomy looked like to me and what I believe Atomy can look like for everybody around the world. So every day we come here and we enjoy these products, right? And we have the opportunity to share these products with individuals around us. Now, I want to think about, you know, what drew you here, right? What drew you here today? What drew you here as a consumer? What drew you here as a business partner? Whatever it may be, it's very different for everybody, right? But I believe that everybody will say that Atomy has given them value. And value is something very important because without it, we're not going to be able to sustain our customers. Without it, we're not going to be able to continue to have that vision to grow our business. So today, I want to share with you the three different aspects or three different things that I believe draw consumers in and at the same time, build your business. And I want to talk about the opportunities that Atomy gives versus other businesses. So everybody, do you have your pens ready, pencils ready, paper ready? Are you ready? All right. So remember, I want you to take notes and I want you to share the ideas that I share with you with your partners and future prospects. Okay. So everybody is accustomed to uh, business, right? Everybody is accustomed to getting their own business started. A lot of individuals don't exactly know how to start their business, but I think everybody will agree that if you had the opportunity that you would love to do your own business. Now, what are the downfalls or what are the hurdles to doing your own business? So number one that I want to discuss, number one, let's see, is what is this? Money, right? It takes a lot of money to start your own business, mostly, right? But there are different businesses now, since we live in the 21st century, where everything that we do, it's on our cell phones, on the internet, and our media is being shared and monetized. So you can actually start your business for free if you have a cell phone, right? Internet connection. So I'm going to talk about those things. But even if you have the money, right? Even if you have the money to do these things, you're going to need number two, which is a P. P stands for product, okay? So you're going to need money. And even if you have money, you're going to have to figure out what kind of P, product that you're going to sell, what kind of product that you're going to, uh, what kind of product that you believe will market to the audience that you want. So in this P, we want to draw a little target. And we want to say that everybody within this circle Okay, 100%. Can they use this product? Okay, can they use this? So, for example, if you're selling a car, not everybody can buy a car or not everybody wants a car, especially in Singapore, right? Is it expensive to have a car in Singapore? Yes, very expensive to register your car in Singapore. So, if your target market is small, then the business for your, the opportunity for your business growth also diminishes, okay? So the third one that we want to talk about, uh, we call it the bus factor, right? What's the bus factor? Bus factor. It's management, okay? So even if you aren't there, is your business able to sustain itself even if you aren't there, okay? So these are the three different principal aspects that I'm going to touch upon today, and I'm going to keep jumping back to, and I want you to have a better understanding, okay? So number one, money. Okay. Everybody wants to start their own business, but like I stated, not everybody has the money to get their own businesses started. 
Okay. But I did touch upon the fact that you could get your own business started by uh, doing things online for free. For example, if you're a content creator, if you're a YouTuber, you can start your own YouTube channel and you can start making money. Right. But what's the issue? You have to have viewers. So you're Number two, product turns into material or content. If you're not able to create good things, then you're not going to be able to create what? More viewers, so therefore you don't have any money, okay? So even if you have money to start a business, it is very difficult to surpass the number two, which is the product. But anatomy, we have amazing quality and amazing prices. That's what we say, right? And these are the factors that play into that. So number one, as a consumer, okay, you are a consumer, you're going to think about everything that you consume on a daily basis, even before meeting Atomy. Okay. So before meeting Atomy, what were the things that you did every single day? So let me get a raise of hands. If you brush your teeth today, raise your hands, raise your hands. Let me see all those beautiful hands. Okay, good, good. Some of you, I guess, didn't brush your teeth yet. Okay. <laughs> but everybody, you brush your teeth, right? I hope so. So what do you need to brush your teeth then? You need a toothbrush and toothpaste. So these are everyday necessities. So even beyond toothbrushes and toothpaste, what do you need? You need to cleanse your body, right? So you need what? Body cleanser, shampoo, right? Oh, I see a gentleman over there. Maybe you don't use shampoo for your hair, but yes, you do need shampoo for your beard, right? So all these things, all these products are everyday necessities. So they're products that every single consumer can come in contact with every single day. So what I drew for you on the board, you can see the zero, the circle, right? Has a hundred percent. So the hundred percent here shows you that everybody that you know can at least consume one item in the Atomy shopping mall, okay? So what's the beautiful part then? So the first part, when I said money, does it take money to start Atomy? Yes or no? No, exactly. You did not pay any money to register yourself within this system, within this ecosystem, right? It was free. And just because it was free, you have now the opportunity to build upon the structures that Atomy already has in place, okay? So that turns here, and we have something called Hemohim, okay? And Hemohim has been the leader for seven years in its industry, right? The top leader. And even just this year, Hemohim has been able to do $270 million in sales just this year alone. So Hemohim is one of these amazing products that you may not be accustomed to as a everyday necessity, right? It's not a toothbrush. It's not a toothpaste, but everybody understands that we need to keep our immune system up, right? Especially with the situation going on now, it is even more important to make sure that you are uh, healthy in terms of your immune system. So Hemohim does an amazing job doing this. And like I stated, we have been number one in the industry for seven years straight, and this year alone have already done close to $270 million. So those are the products that we're talking about. These are not just, just everyday products, but they go above and beyond absolute quality because you won't be able to find any other products like this anywhere else. Okay, so number three that I'm going to touch upon is the bus factor or management system. Okay, so even if you have been able to create a system like this, the question is, are you going to be able to continue to manage the system? Is the system going to be able to continue to manage itself? Is it going to continue to grow even when you aren't there? Okay, now, how do you answer this question? How do you think about these things? Because if you are not able to answer this, then your business will not grow. So let's jump back now. Let's talk about what we call consumer habit, okay? Consumer habit is something that is very important because without the ability to change consuming habit, your business is failing, okay? Let me say it again. You open your business, okay? But your business does not have the ability to change consuming habit, then that means your business is failing. It's going down. It's going down and it's inevitable that one day it will close. Okay. So let's imagine everybody listening to this lecture. Okay. I want you to close your eyes, close your eyes. Okay. You are now in the supermarket. Okay. You're now in the supermarket. You have to buy milk. Okay. What milk goes into your cart? Think about it. What milk goes into your cart? 
I guarantee you it's the milk that you always buy, right? There are multiple different companies, right? There's not just one milk brand. There's not just one um, cheese brand. There's not just one of anything, right? But it is funny that each consumer, they continue to consume items that they're accustomed to consuming. That's called a habit. And that's called a consuming habit, okay? So as a consumer, you have a habit of drinking the same milk, using the same shampoo, using the same toothbrush, toothpaste, whatever it is. You have the habit of doing that. And if a company wants your money, right? They want to say, hey, please stop drinking that milk. And I want you to drink our milk. Don't drink that one anymore. Drink this one. So what's it going to take to change you over? Now, if you can't answer that question, your business is, what did I say? It is failing. Okay. So you have to be able to change consuming habits. So let's think about it. So if I say these words, what company pops up in your mind? Okay. If I say hamburgers, what pops up? One more time. Hamburgers, right? What, what would it be? Maybe McDonald's, maybe Burger King, whatever it may be, it pops up, right? Because what have they done? They've marketed themselves and they've, they've, um, they've uh, set it up. So whenever you think about that product, your consuming habit changes to that name, right? So if I say coffee, what pops up to your head? What, what comes to mind? Coffee, Starbucks, okay? So whatever it may be, if I say tea, right? Whatever it is, you're going to think about it. These are called companies, okay, who have changed your consuming habit. Now, if Atomy is able to do that, there's two different methods of doing so, okay? So method number one is giving you more value. So let's say that you went to the supermarket and you went to go buy your milk, but as soon as you went to go reach for your milk, some other uh, marketing personnel was standing there and saying, hey, 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 don't buy that milk today. Buy our milk. Our milk today is two plus one or one plus one. What does that mean? You buy one, get one free, right? So you think about it, you say, hmm, so I could buy the milk that I always buy, or I could try this new milk because it's the same price, but they're giving me one more. It's more valuable to me. So what do they do? They say, okay, let me give it a try. So give me a raise of hands of individuals listening. If that was you, if somebody is to offer you one plus one, would you change? Yes. Say yes. Okay. Or no, I still would just drink my regular milk. Say no. Okay, good, good. So some of you guys would say yes. Some of you would say no, right? And it's because why? Some of you are more um, strict in terms of your consuming habit. And some of you are not as strict. You're willing to change over. Okay. But only when value is given. Let me say that again. Only when value is given. When value is given, you're able to let go of what you used to consume and try something else, okay? That's step one. Now, step two, let's say you drank all your milk, drank all your milk, everything's good, uh, no worries, you, you're, you didn't get any stomach aches, everything's good. But next time you go to buy that milk again, where's your hand go? This person's not there anymore. Are you going to drink the milk you bought recently for one plus one? Or are you going to go back to the milk that you used to drink for past however many years? I guarantee you, your hand's going to go back to what you used to drink. It's not going to go back to that one item, okay? Because you have a habit and you have a history of drinking that item, okay? That's how that works. So if a company is not able to give you continuous value, okay, then your habit is just going to go back. So this is very important, right? So this gets you thinking. So now you have to think about it. Is um, Atomy toothbrush, is Atomy toothpaste, the shampoo, are these items ones that are going to help me consume or help me to continue to consume because of its value? Yes or no? Okay. Yes or no? So if the answer is yes, then you have one huge hurdle finished. You're done. Okay. You can, you, you can go beyond that now. Okay. So if this company called Atomy can change consuming habit, you can now go to the other section and then you can start thinking about what it is that you need to work on then. So let's talk about it. Okay. So in this, in this 
instance, now you have what we call consumers, right? So just because you have consumers doesn't necessarily mean that your business is going to continue to flourish or grow. You have to be able to exert. You only have so many hours in a day, right, to do your business. And then you have to have so much more energy to do A, B, and C. So I'm going to talk about that. So in a, in a business model that continues to give you what we call passive income, all these things have to align, okay? So everybody, you are in the active stage, okay? A stands for active income, okay? And then P stands for passive income. And then it goes from one, two, three, four, five, and one equating to 100% of your efforts, okay? One equates to 100% of your efforts, okay? And then... Let's go down the line. Two equates to 75% of your efforts. Three goes to 50% of your efforts. Four to 25%. And five to 0% of your efforts. In what? In consumer building. Okay, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Consumer, okay, building. Okay, in consumer building, you have to be able to answer these questions because if you don't, then you're not going to be able to create what we call passive income because passive income is what is needed in order for you to go to the next stage in the management, the number three that I'm going to talk about here soon, okay? So number one, consumer. Okay, I'm just going to put C, okay, consumer. So this consumer, I told you, can be created in Atomy because of Atomy's ability to change consuming habit, okay? Good. So passively, okay? So passively, what's going on is A, actively, okay? It is 100% of your efforts. And then here, passively, it is zero. It's at zero because you have nothing, right? So it is taking 100% of your efforts, active, active, okay, actions from you, but yet at stage one, you get zero passive, okay? So let's, let's draw you, this is you, okay? This is your lineage, okay? This is your A line, this is your B line. There's nobody else doing this business other than you. You're making consumer number one, consumer number two, consumer number three, consumer number four. Who's doing this? 100%, who is it? You, you are doing it. Okay, so that's why it's not building passively because there's nothing to build with you yet. Okay, so that's stage one. Now let's let's uh, enact this. Okay, let's enact this. Okay, so you say, "Hey, how are you, John? John, are you doing great? Yes, yes." And then you have small talk, and then you say, "Hey, listen. Hey, do you brush your teeth, John?" And John says, "Of course, I brush my teeth. Okay, great. I got something amazing for you. I've been using this." toothbrush, toothpaste. And since you brush your teeth, you're going to love this item, right? Who's going to say no? So you get this consumer and they start to consume your item, shampoo, whatever it may be. And then what happens is they call you back, right? Or they reorder the item because of its value. You understand? So when that happens, this from a regular consumer turns into a AC, auto consumer. So now you have, what, 25% of your time free. Now you're 25% passive. Does that make sense, everybody? Yeah, 25% passive. So now you can use this time freedom that you may have, okay, to build other things. Maybe it's your IBO or ABO, right, Atomy Business Owner that you're going to be investing into, that 25 extra time that you have, okay? So now as this consumer is consuming the items, they know their ID, they know how to order, they know the value, they start to share the items with individuals like this. They say, listen, I use this shampoo, it's amazing, it's great, you should give it a try. For example, me, I put wax in my hair, right? Try to look good for you guys, right? But when I, when I wash my hair, I have to get this wax out, right? And I've used multiple different shampoos before, but Adamy's Herbal Shampoo, I love it. Why? One pump gets all the wax out, gone, okay? But other items, I have to shampoo my hair maybe two, three times to get the wax out. It just doesn't do a great job. So that's where I know, yeah, Adamy, this shampoo, one pump versus three pumps, okay? So that's saving me, even if it's the same amount, let's say it's 500, 500, then I'm saving three times by using Atomy because I'm wasting less. 
Make sense? So remember to always compare apples to apples, okay? Apples to apples. So this item has helped me, right, save money and get rid of the wax. That, that's me. I'm a consumer. Now, I shared this with my neighbor, let's say. Now, this neighbor says, oh, really? I use wax like you. So I want to try that shampoo. What did you just do? You, without even knowing, you just became a part-time partner without you even knowing. What does that mean? That means that you shared the value of Atomy with this individual. That person now is a registered member and can order the items for themselves. Make sense? It's very simple. So they wouldn't call themselves a part-time partner. They would say, oh, I'm not doing the business. I don't know. I don't know. But in reality, they just did do the business because that's all it is. Atomy is just sharing about the value that you got as a consumer and moving that value to the next person. And that person seeing the value for themselves, registering and trying the items. Very simple. Okay. So now what happens? You have 50% freedom of time now. So 50% of your time is still given to create those consumers. But at the same time, even when you're not working, these other part-time partners are doing your other work for you and giving you those results. Does that make sense, everyone? Yes. Now we get what we call full-time partners. Okay, Full-time partners are individuals who are making money in Atomy. They are actively pursuing Atomy in the hopes of making money. Okay, So they are people like you and me. So we now understand that, oh, wow, okay, so this is me. Oh, here's my downline. Okay, Uncle John just bought 100K PV. Oh, Auntie just bought 300K PV. All right, I got 400K PV here. Okay, and I had 300K PV here. Oh, time to get paid. Get my 15 points, right? And this is not being done by yourself anymore, right? So let's say that this you, right, now turns into John, and you are up here. John has created this structure under you that you used to only do by yourself. Does that make sense? So this is the way that the business continues to grow. Unlimited downline leverage in a system that allows you the freedom of time. So now it's 75%. And then we have an income ceiling. I see. Okay, income ceiling. And what does the income ceiling implicate? What we're saying is that in Atomy, you are only allowed to make 300 points a day. So you top out at around $30,000 to $50,000 a month, okay, with your general commission and your mastership bonus. So that's the ceiling we say, okay? So when you know that you have this ceiling, you're actively doing zero in terms of building new consumers, right? And your energy is probably focused 100% now on building, building ABOs, Atomy business owners. Does that make sense? And these Atomy business owners are now duplicating what you just did here. And now they're doing the consumer, auto consumer, part-time partner, full-time partner, and so on. So this system builds itself. You see how that works? So now I'm going to jump into number three. So this was the management aspect, okay? The bus factor. So in this factor, you understand that if you have all this that I'm talking about here, if you have this all implemented, then yes, even if you get hit by a bus, your business continues to grow. That's called the bus factor. Now, if your business will not grow without you, then you do not have a passive business. Your business can never become passive. But everybody... Your goal is what? Your goal is to create passive income. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Passive income means the ability to do the business, even though you cannot actively do the business on your own. So in this sense, okay, let's think about it. You are working diligently. You're working very hard to create your passive income. But let's say that you are micromanaging everything by yourself and you're not letting the system grow. You're not letting your leaders grow. Then in the end, your business is going to be solely dependent on you. So therefore, it's not going to grow as quickly and as fast. Okay, so it won't work. Okay, you're just going to have just regular small consumers. But let's think about the math. Let's think about, well, how do I do this? Okay, 
So there are 365 days or 52 weeks in a year, okay? 52 weeks in a year. And let's say that you contact one, okay? Let's say you contact one person a week, okay? Then let's say that two weeks, you, you didn't contact anybody. So that's 50 individuals, okay? And one household, if we do the math, one household is able to consume about 50,000 PV. So 50,000 equates to about 2.5 million PV. Okay, that's the magic number. So why is 2.5 million very important for us, Adamians? Because that's the first mastership. I saw a lot of you all uh, during your uh, workshop with Adam, I saw you all talking about wanting to become an auto sales master, right? Wanting to achieve mastership. And in order for you to do that, I'm giving you your goals, okay? Not just goals of, I'm going to meet a lot of people. Not just goals of, uh, I'm going to try to become an auto sales master in three months. Well, how are you going to do that? How? It's, it's, it's great that you have that passion and vision, but now we have to do the math, right? Now we have to see the detailed actions that it takes to get you to that point. So everybody has to be able to go from point A to point B in Atomy. So point A is you becoming a member and you have zero PV, zero downline. But you start consuming the items and your ID gets up to 300 KPV. Your ID gets up to 700 KPV and your downline does the same thing. And as they do that, you'll see what I mean here. So 50 people, 50,000 PV, 2.5 million PV, okay? So let's think about it. It takes, let's say, one, let's say it takes three months, okay? It takes three months to duplicate one of these 50 members, okay? One of these 50 members to become, a, to become an auto consumer and somebody to be able to do the PP part, okay? So if you see the PP part here, okay? It takes about three months to do this, let's say. So it takes three months for PP, a part-time partner, to get established, okay? So as soon as this person gets established from 12 months from here, then you start getting this math here. So let's do the math. So in one year, you should have 50 on your A, okay? And if you give it three more months, that person should be doing the same thing. So you should have 50 more. So in 15 months, in one side or two sides, okay? You should be able to have a 100 to 100, right? 50 and 50, okay? Different households consuming your items. So $2,000 is what that equates to, okay? $2,000. Is $2,000 easy to come by? Let's think about it. Is $2,000 easy to come by passively? In Korea, okay, and I've done this math in the U.S. as well, in Korea, it takes about 500, if you have $500,000, okay, worth of property. So let's say you have a $500,000 house, 500K house, you get about $1,500, uh, $1, okay, $1,500 in rent, okay? So if you have two properties, that's about a million, right? One million and you get about... $2,000 to $3,000 in rent. Does that sound about reasonable? Yes? This is the case in the US and lots of other places, okay? So people need to understand the value of $2,000, okay? Do you have $1 million laying around? Most of us do not, okay? Even if you owned two houses, you probably have a mortgage, you have a loan. You don't flat out own them, right? The bank owns part of it. So then you have to pay interest, okay? So you would technically not even be left with the $3,000 a month. Does that make sense, everyone? So if you were to save, let's say, if you were to save $1,000 a month, right? So let's just say one, let's say you save $1,000 a month, you missed a few, you save $10,000 a year, okay? How many years would that take? Too long, okay? It take too long. So in 50 years, in 20 years, you know, you can do the math, but it's unrealistic for you to be able to save that much money. 
even if you were to save, let's say, $20,000, okay, it would still take you how many years to just reach this, this uh, status. But the, the thing is, housing prices continue to rise every year. So you're never going to be able to catch up with it. So what's the point? The point is this. Anatomy, what did I say? 15 months. So let's say it took 15 months for your A line. And it took 15 months for your B line. That's 30 months, 36 months, let's say, okay? Three years. It took you three years to create $2,000 a month. That's still faster than the traditional way of doing it that way, right? You still can do this part-time. You still can do this according to whatever business, uh, whatever uh, free time that you have. Does that make sense, everyone? So in this business, you're able to continue to do what you're doing whether it's working your nine to five, whether it's only working at me on the weekends or, you know, during the nighttime, whatever it may be, you can continue to build your business because you have the freedom to control how much time you put into this business. And as you do this, you are able to see that we're able to control the amount of consumers that we create as well, because consumers being created are dependent on you. It's not dependent on anybody else, just you. And as you create these consumers, mathematically speaking, if you create one person a week and you duplicate that one person to be able to do what you're doing, right, within the three months, then you've doubled your output. And this is called unlimited downline leverage. Okay, in Atomy, we have what we call unlimited downline leverage. And that is built into the compensation plan. So consumers are given value with product okay so consumers okay consumers are given value okay through product okay that's how consumers are retained if a consumer does not feel that the product that you are offering gives them value then you do not have a market okay now Business, Atomy business owners are given value with what? What are they given value for? They're given value from the compensation plan. Okay, so what kind of compensation plan does Atomy have? For consumers, we have an amazing product. Like I talked to you about, you know, all our toothbrushes, toothpaste, our hemoheme, all these items are great. Okay. So consumers are satisfied and happy with what they have. Now, the compensation plan is what we call a system where it gives you unlimited, okay, unlimited downline leverage. So UDL, unlimited downline leverage, UDL. And unlimited downline leverage gives you something called luck, okay? So people don't like to use the word luck because it kind of takes away from your effort or ability. But let me explain to you why this is important. You have to be, you're, we are lucky to be born um, during this time, right? Imagine if you were born 200 years ago or 100 years ago, it'd be a lot worse than now, right? <laughs> Imagine, okay? So we're born into this system, okay? And Atomy is giving you a opportunity to leverage off of luck. So what is luck? So let me, let me change this word so you guys understand it a little bit better. So let's say that we all have a, a test tomorrow. Okay, you have a test. You have a Korean proficiency test tomorrow. It's a language test. Okay. Raise your hand if you're going to get an A. Raise your hand. All right. Raise your hand if you're going to not get an A. <laughs> All right. So if you're not going to get an A, it's because you lack the language proficiency ability, right? You lack it. Okay. Well, what if, okay, when you go to take the test, this happens. Okay. Normally in a traditional sense, when you go to take a test, what happens? You get the test and you write the answers according to your ability. Whose ability? your ability. So if you know Korean well, you'll get a good grade. You'll get a passing score. But let's say that you do not, then you get an F according to your ability, right? Maybe you get a C, a D, but you don't pass, let's say. Well, what if 
you were lucky enough to look at your neighbor's paper. Lucky enough to look over there, right? And you're looking at their paper and then you copy their answers. Is that cheating? Yes, I see some of your faces. You're confused, right? Say, well, what do you mean lucky enough to look? That's cheating, right? But listen, let's say they didn't call that cheating, okay? Let's say they didn't call that cheating and you were able to copy your neighbor's paper, okay? Let me tell you a funny story, okay? You copied their paper, but guess what? They didn't know Korean either, so you both get an F. So you are not very lucky. Or let's say your neighbor was really good at Korean. You copy their paper, and lo and behold, you get an A, and they get an A. You got lucky. Yes? Cheating? Lucky? Well, let's change the word then. Super synergy of heart. What is that? Teamwork. Yes, now you like that word, right? Super synergy of heart, teamwork. Well, that's exactly what Atomy is doing. Atomy is allowing for you to leverage and build with your partners. So let's say that you cannot speak uh, Mandarin. Let's say you cannot speak Cantonese or English or whatever language, but your partner can. Well, their ability becomes your ability. Let's say that you're not very good at selling. Okay, but your partner is very good at selling. That becomes your ability. You see how that works? It leverages off of each individual in your downline because it's unlimited downline leverage. Unlimited downline leverage means that you get 100% of all PV created in your downline, 100%. Whether they sold it in Singapore, or whether they sold your partner, let's say is living in uh, Malaysia, or let's say your partner is living in America, wherever it is, as long as the downline is under you, then you get 100% of all their efforts, all their ability. Therefore, it is inevitable for your success. It is inevitable that you continue to grow your business over and over and get pushed propelled forward into your income ceiling that I talked about, okay? And it will continue to grow that way. Why? Because you continue to get leveraged unlimited all the way down, 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 down. That's the beauty of this business. So your success is what? Inevitable. But a lot of individuals do not understand this concept. So therefore, they quit. They stop. But the only way to fail in atomy is if you quit, if you stop. And it is inevitable for your success if you continue to grow and continue to go forward because it is structured in the system that you will get somebody of better ability than you in your downline sooner or later. But it is your responsibility to continue to grow that business over and over and over and over and over right? So you have to get up and you have to be able to get those daily goals done. Because if you do not, then what happens? Nobody else is going to be doing it for you. So that's the beauty of this business, okay? So let me review very quickly. Number one, I said that all businesses, it takes money, okay, to start a business. But in Atomy, there is no money needed. It is free to do the business, okay? Number two, even if you have a business that you can get started with, even if it's free or if you have the capital to do it, number two was the issue. What was it? Product. Being able to have the correct product, the right product, okay, to change consuming habit. So that product had to have what? The ability to change consuming habit. And number three, what was it? The ability to manage your business and for your business to continue to grow without you. So the bus factor saying that even if you were to be taken out of the equation, your business will continue to flourish. And Adam has that ability because your partners are building their business for them, not for you. And your consumers are consuming those products for them, not for you. They, the consumer, see value in the product 
and continue to consume. And they, those business partners, see value in the business and continue to build the business. Does that make sense, everyone? All right, thank you for your time. I hope this was helpful. My 40 minutes are up now, so I will meet you all again soon. Bye-bye.